Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use Zapier to help automate your clients' workflows inside of your AI agency. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Liam. We're currently doing over $50,000 every single month with our agency, and I create free videos to help you guys do the same thing. So let's get started with this video. So for those of you who are just getting started with your AI agency, you may have come across the platform Zapier. Now, I've spoken about it a lot in my videos because Quite frankly, it is one of the best tools that you could be using to create automations and make the life of your clients super, super simple. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests to create this Zapier guide and this Zapier walkthrough. And in this video, I wanna break it down into two parts. And that's what we do inside of our agency. We use it for two different things. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what those two things are. And we're actually gonna be building a custom Zapier bot that I use for lead gen with a lot of my clients. And you can do the exact same thing. You can literally copy my blueprint from this video completely free. Let's go. So why Zapier? Why do I rave about this platform? 5,800 integrations. So they're connected to every single major CRM, social media platform, and then tons of different apps as well. That makes it really, really easy for us when we're jumping into clients' businesses, we're helping them with their workflows and their automations, and they may be using different CRMs. Maybe you know one is using Zoho, one is using HubSpot, one is using Salesforce. Well, luckily Zapier covers so many different apps and platforms that nine times out of 10, you're covered or there is at least a workaround to make sure that you can plug into every single client no matter what they're using. So Zapier actually has a GPT integration as well. So they have a DALI integration and a chat GPT integration, which gives you so many opportunities to create clever custom workflows paired with Zapier Zaps. Beginner friendly, really easy to use and understand once you've spent enough time on it. Hopefully this video will help speed you through that process and you will leave this video an absolute expert on Zapier. You can also duplicate your workflows. So it's really easy to do that. And what this allows you to do is whenever you get new clients in the same niche, if you've already built the automations once, you now just have to replicate those and hand them over to the new client and fill in the details, connect the different accounts that your new client has. And there is no lengthy process of going through the entire learning of what that workflow should look like. If it's already working for one client, why don't you just use it for the next client? It's exactly what we do. And another great point on Zapier is the pricing model that scales. So when you're first getting started, you're not gonna be spending hundreds of dollars to use Zapier. The pricing model is gonna scale with you. So the more successful your clients, the more you're gonna use Zapier, the more you'll be charged, but hopefully that means you'll be getting paid more by your clients because it's obviously working. So it's super easy to get started with, really beginner friendly and low cost to entry. This means you can start going from today with pretty much no investment. So like I said, there's two parts to Zapier and there's two ways to use it. You can use it as the connector or you can use it as the complete machine. Now this may make no sense at all and I promise you it will after the next couple of slides, but this is how I look at Zapier. I don't always use it for everything that I do. If there's some connections that need to be made and I can't figure it out internally, I'll do that with Zapier. And then if there is a solution that the client wants and they want me to build something custom, if I can do that entirely inside of Zapier, then I will do that because it keeps everything in one place, very easy for me to manage. And I can make Zapier the complete machine and the entire machine that runs all of the automations and all of the lead generation that my client has specifically asked for. Let's look at a client example of the connector. Super simple. This is the Zapier interface. I just laid it out for you here. Just a quick example of what that could look like. So essentially we are going to capture lead data on a client's site by installing a webhook that Zapier gives us. Zapier is then gonna send that data that is collected on that site to a CRM. So in this case, it's a HubSpot and we can see it's connected there. And then it's automatically gonna store that data in a spreadsheet. Now, this is just an example. This is just a really, really simple workflow. Maybe you're just sending leads to a spreadsheet and you just wanna double up on your CRM, but this is just to show you how simple it is and how easy of an interface it is to use. So you see here, catch, catch hook in webhooks, create and update contact in HubSpot, create spreadsheet row in Google Sheets. So whenever there is a trigger, these actions will then follow. What are some other simple automation examples that you could do inside of Zapier? So this is the one we just spoke about. You could also do a new lead 
into a CRM and then that lead gets pushed into an email marketing software or you get an update in a Google Sheet, a form field in a Google Sheet and that sends an automatic email to whatever email was left in that Google Sheet and then that email is then added to your email marketing list or maybe you've got a new lead, you wanna send a notification to your team in Slack and then you wanna auto email a Cadently call booking form to that email that you collected on that new lead. Or for those of you that are building chatbots, you can add a webhook into a chatbot like on BotPress and you can collect that data from that chatbot, send it to your CRM and then send an alert to Slack alerting people that there is a new lead. So you can see these are some really simple automations that you could do, just a couple of ideas. We will be running through a live automation shortly, but I just want to dive into one more example and that is the complete machine. Now, like I said, this is my favorite part because when you figure this out, you feel like an evil villain sat in your lair who's just like, mastered everything you feel undefeatable because you've just figured out the game and you are an ai whiz but in reality it's just sapia doing everything for you so this is what a more advanced workflow looks like again it's not super crazy but sometimes the more simple you can make things the better it is the less chance of you fucking up and the more chance of your client being happy we have capturing data on client site now in this one we've used click funnels that's just a funnel platform that we use so what we do we collect that data that has been submitted in a form we then send that data to chat gpt we've trained this bot on the back end inside of zapier and then we send that lead and data to google spreadsheets after that we send the data to kajabi so in our case this is for a content creator that we're working with and their course and website is hosted on kajabi so we actually update their newsletter and add all the data that we've collected from this initial landing page into their kajabi which then triggers the newsletter automations that we have set up we then have a short delay just for 15 minutes and then we send an automatic email with the response from ChatGPT. So the delivery that ChatGPT spits out for us on this workflow comes into that email and is sent to the lead that we collect. We then add that lead into our Klaviyo account where they're then added into a newsletter email flow as well and we keep it all in one place. So some of you are gonna be thinking, what are you on about, you madman? This makes no sense. Don't worry, we're also gonna be rebuilding this and I'm gonna show you the exact lead gen tool that we use for this so you can literally copy it feel free. So let's quickly talk about some advanced AI GPT automation examples. Webhook data collected from landing page is then sent to ChatGPT and that bot is then trained on how to answer the question with the data. A response is produced by ChatGPT and then it's auto emailed to the client. This acts as a lead gen tool. So all the data is then stored on CRMs and contact info added into the workflows. So you can see that is essentially what just happened on the last page. We're gonna be building that in the next part of this video. So one key thing to remember, Zapier is the glue to your automations. Now what I mean by this is Zapier is what is gonna connect everything together. You're gonna be able to look and see what integrations are available on Zapier and essentially just plug it in to fill in the gaps and make sure these different platforms speak to one another. Sometimes they don't and Zapier can solve that issue and that is really how you're gonna create an automated process for your clients moving forward. This is the real value, keeping it all in one place, you having the control on that. And I've heard some people say, you know, should you be setting Zapier up for your clients or should you own the account? I would always recommend that you own the account because then the automation and control is with you and you save yourself from having a client running away with all of the hard work that you put in when it comes to building up their automations and workflows. So always bear that in mind. You wanna hold all the keys. So one other point before we get started with the workflows is only use if it's needed, otherwise use the local automations. Now, what I mean by this is like I said, some platforms don't have integrations and they don't speak locally. Now, when you make a HubSpot account, for example, on a CRM, that actually has a lot of workflows and a lot of automations built inside of it. Some will feed into other platforms. Maybe it connects directly to your Gmail account or a spreadsheet, or perhaps it automatically links into Slack. So if that integration is there, you can use that and it saves you the time of having to connect up Zapier APIs. But in the most cases, I find that there aren't usually many platforms that do speak to one another. So Zapier always does come in clutch and becomes that glue for your automations. So let's get onto the fun part. Let's start building this tool. Now, for those of you that have signed up to my newsletter in the past, you would have seen a solopreneur tool that I made. So it essentially looked like this. 
the best online business for you to start in 2023. Start a business of the future, fill in the below questions to receive a custom list of businesses that suit you. And then there was a list of questions, then there was a list of questions and a complete get recommendations now button. Now, let me tell you how this works and how I've set this up. This is just on a ClickFunnels landing page. The way that you're gonna be able to feed this into Zapier is by having a form, some sort of data that you can submit whether that's through bot press and a chatbot or a landing page like Wix, Squarespace, all of that good stuff, Zapier has those integrations. So as long as you're collecting data on a form, you don't need to be using ClickFunnels, you can be sending it from whatever platform you like. So you could build one of these to your clients and create a brand new GPT fueled lead generation tool. So I'm gonna show you exactly how it works, how you set it up and how you can do the same. So as you can see, there are a ton of fields here. We've set up the page and we now have a form that essentially works. What we now need to do is come on over to Zapier and create an account. That part's easy. If you can't figure that out, then uh, go back to the drawing board, start again from this video, but we're gonna come up here and click, we're gonna start our new Zap. So we're gonna click create Zap and then it's gonna open this interface up for us. So let's rename this to start with. This is gonna be our lead gen landing page bot. There we go. What we want our bot to do is every time this form is submitted, we need it to trigger an action on Zapier. So like I was saying, if you was working from Webflow as your web platform, you can connect it from that. If you're working on Wix, you can connect it on that. If you're working on Squarespace, you can connect it on that. There are so many integrations with Zapier, it's really hard to find something that is actually not connected to. So in our case, we're working on ClickFunnels, so we're gonna click our ClickFunnels integration. Now it's gonna ask us to choose our event. Now with a trigger, there needs to be an event. And like I just said, our event is when people submit the form. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna click new contact activity. Whenever someone submits that form, a new contact is made in ClickFunnels. So that is the trigger that we're looking for. So we're gonna hit that, we're gonna click continue, and then we're gonna choose our ClickFunnels account. So this is super simple. I've connected it before with other clients. So all you're gonna wanna do, connect your account, whatever platform you're using, super simple. You just log in, then you're gonna hit continue again. And then we're gonna select what funnel inside of ClickFunnels we're gonna to wanna to use as a trigger. So again, this is gonna look different for you, whatever platform you're using, but it's very, very easy to follow. So in our case, our funnel is called Example Bot Zapier. And the funnel step that we wanna track is gonna be the first funnel step. So you'll be able to set all of these parameters inside of the platform that you're using. But in my case, these are the options that I have because that is what I named it. I'm then gonna come on over to this form and just fill it in. So chances are you're building this for your client. So you can just fill this in just to get some test data for us to use in our Zapier setup. So in our case, I'm gonna use my email. I'm gonna say I'm interested in Drop shipping, yes. Have you ever made money online? Yes. What businesses do you find most interesting? Agencies, United Kingdom, and my budget is 500 to 1,000. Now, obviously, I've set all of these questions and you can do the same. Now, the reason why this is so beneficial to a business is I'm collecting so much more data than just a full name and an email. I'm collecting what businesses are they interested in? What is their budget? Where are they located? Have they ever made money or seen success online before? Now, obviously this could be whatever you want it to be, whatever niche you want it to be in. But for my example, this is specifically targeted for people that are looking to create businesses online because that is what our client was looking for. Now, I'm now gonna click complete and get recommendations. And then you can set the thank you page up to be whatever you want it to be. In our case, it's just send them through to a YouTube channel. Now we're gonna come back on over to our Zapier setup once we've got that information. So test trigger, and if all worked well, we should be able to pull the data that I just submitted into Zapier. And there you go. Zapier has managed to pull all of that information through, everything that I just typed in, including all the custom answers and questions inside of there. So continue with selective record. That is now gonna be our test data that we're gonna use for the rest of this SAP. So the next step we're gonna to wanna to do is now port that information over to ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is right here. We can select an event. We can start a conversation because that is what we wanna do. We wanna ask ChatGPT some questions and we're gonna click continue. Now again, you're gonna to have to sign up to ChatGPT. I do recommend that you create a premium account and you pay for ChatGPT. It's gonna give you way more options. You get to use way more of the features and it's super simple just to connect up. Now you're gonna get a box that asks for your API key. So I'm gonna show you how to get that. So you're gonna to wanna to come to platform.openai.com and you're gonna to need to get your API key from here. So we can come up to our right account, view API keys and create a new secret key. So in this case, it's gonna be a Zapier 
bot example, doesn't matter what you call it, and I can just create that key there. Go back on over to Zapier, paste in my API key, and you can leave this bit blank. It's just optional whether you wanna name that bot. So yes, continue to chat GPT. So that is as easy as it is, connecting Zapier to ChatGPT just like that. And this is where it gets fun. This is where it could get a little bit confusing. So if you need to pause and stop this video uh, and just rewatch stuff, make sure you do that. Now, this is the part where we ask ChatGPT the question. So in our case, we wanna go back to whoever filled in this form and give them business advice and tell them the best online businesses to start based on the information that they provided. So to do that, we're gonna come up and we're gonna type in, hi, my name is, and I'm gonna click their name. I'm then gonna kind of follow the questions that I asked methodologically and add in the, and add in the data where it's relevant. So I'm gonna say, hi, my name is Liam Evans. I am interested in, and then we're gonna come down to our interest tab. And we're gonna say, and I have a budget of this much. What businesses would you recommend that I start online? So that is all it is. You can get as detailed with this as you like. You can bulk this out as much as you want, use as much data as you need. But just for the example of this video, this is what I'm gonna do. So you can see how it works. You're collecting that data from the landing page that you've made and that form submission, and you're inputting it into this prompt for ChatGPT. So with this, I just leave this blank, I leave this blank. And now this is the most important part. You now need to train your ChatGPT bot. So for this, I'm gonna speed it up and show you to where we ended up. Otherwise, you're gonna be here forever. So you can see I fed the bot saying, you are an online business expert. You help people come up with smart, with smart online businesses that they can start based on their experience and knowledge. You make sure it works with their budget. Deliver your responses in a bullet point format. Simple. We're using ChatGPT Turbo. That's completely fine. That is all you need. And then we can use the memory key as their email. So this is essentially going to be able to tie their email to whatever responses they get. So moving forward, if they fill it in again, they're going to get similar responses because they've already received a response from our ChatGPT bot. So temperature, I would leave this for now, but you can play around with it. This essentially means you can change it from zero to two and the lower you go, the closer it is gonna to be to your prompt. You basically give ChatGPT more freedom, the higher the number. So for this example, we're just gonna leave it at that. We're gonna click continue, and then we're gonna test our action. So let's see what ChatGPT comes back with. So here we go. Hi Liam, great to hear that you're interested in starting an online agency and have a budget of 500 to a thousand dollars. Based on your interest, here are some businesses that you can start with your budget. Social media management agency, a content marketing agency, a virtual assistant agency, SEO agency, web design agency, but no AI optimization agency, which isn't great. But anyway, you get the point. ChatGPT has now come back with this incredibly powerful and valuable piece of information for someone who's just getting started with online business and has no idea where to focus or what businesses even exist. So you can really start to think, what other niches can you use this in? What other businesses could find this valuable? Maybe you're giving out tax advice. Maybe you're giving out law advice and just letting people know what the current laws are in the country that they're asking for advice in. This really is limitless. And I just love the idea of being able to provide data like this to someone instead of having to like download your free ebook or pdf here we now have a living breathing bot that does all the heavy lifting for us we set it up once and then we forget about it let it crack on and just deliver value to our potential leads and clients so we now have ChatGPT making a response for us but that isn't where we stop now, what I've now done is come on over to Google Sheets and I've set this document up. I wanna be able to see the chat GPT responses that come through on everyone's form submission. I also wanna be able to see all of the data that comes through for every single lead because that's what's valuable. Being able to read that data and segment people based on their budgets or based on their interests, that is what is gonna be powerful to your client. Now you don't need to use Google Sheets, you could use a CRM, but for the ease of this video and for the ease of testing, this is what we're gonna use. So all you're gonna do is gonna come and create a Google Sheet. I've called this one Zapier Bot Emails, and I've just added all of the form fields that we collect on the website. And what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna get Zapier to, to populate all of these form fields with the data that is collected every single time a new lead fills in this form. One thing I would do is add this little dash because that means your, te your text is going to start from there. That's just the OCD in me. I hate it when it's like right up there. Um, but yeah, let's jump on it. So we're going to click this plus button and it's going to allow us to add another action to our chain. Now, in this case, we're going to do sheets. So Google Sheets and we're going to select our event. Now we want to create a spreadsheet row. So it's the columns that are like that and then rows that are like that. So I messed that up a few times before. Make sure you create a spreadsheet row. 
I'm gonna click that, click continue and connect my account. So I've connected my account. I'm now gonna choose the spreadsheet, which is the Zapier bot emails. The worksheet is just sheet one. So we can come on down here and you can see it's sheet one. Then we're gonna get the list of form fields that are there on that spreadsheet. You can see how crazy Zapier is. It's so, so powerful. So our name, we're just gonna take from our landing page, the data that we collected from that form. So our name goes there, our email goes there. And let me speed this part up for you. Cool, so we filled in all of the data from that form that's now gonna populate the spreadsheet there. But we're gonna to wanna to now fill in the next part, which is the GPT delivery. So instead of clicking our funnel or wherever we've got our form located, we're now gonna click conversation in chat GPT. And we're gonna come down to the part where it gives us that custom feedback and that message. So assistant response message is what you're gonna to wanna to click. Cool, we'll hit continue. And then we can come down and click test action. Now what should happen, everything on that spreadsheet is now gonna be populated and we should see that lead on that spreadsheet. Cool, and we do. We see all of their data, we see their chat GPT response and essentially we now have our chatbot set up. If we was to now hit publish on this, give it a version name, new, save that up. If we come on over to our list again and we just fill it in again, maybe change our email. So I'll add number two there and say I'm interested in online courses. We're gonna submit that it will take us to our thank you page. And what will happen is Zapier is automatically gonna get triggered. It may take a few seconds to come through because the chat GPT response takes a little bit of time when it's prompted. So if we give that, you know, maybe five to 10 seconds, that should come in. And there we go. Our new lead has now populated our spreadsheet and we can see it's also been given a custom response from chat GPT. We can always drag that out so you can read it more. And it's completely different to the first one based on the interests that I've left here. So what else can we do with this? Well, you would have seen in the example of the document that I went over earlier, I also added it to an automatic email. So what I want now to happen is now we have the lead and the data, I also want the person who filled in that form to receive an automatic email with the response that came from ChatGPT. This is what creates the entire bot. This finishes everything off. So we're gonna come back into edit zap and we're gonna hit the plus button and it's right there, Gmail. For the example of this video, I'm just gonna send an email from my email, but of course you can select it with your client's email or maybe set up a custom email for this type of landing page. But all we're gonna to wanna to do is send email. So I'm using my Liam Evans Media at Gmail account. I'm gonna hit continue and then I'm gonna see these form fields and I'm asked essentially what I want it to say. So the person we're sending an email to is gonna be that contact that we collect. Our from is gonna be from our email. Our from name is gonna be from Liam Evans. And our subject is going to be your business recommendations. Now obviously this is gonna be completely unique to whatever client you're working with or whatever type of client you're working with, it's gonna be different. But the idea is all the same. Our body of text is now just gonna be our conversation from ChatGPT. So again, assistant response message, we're gonna hit that. And when that email sends, it's gonna populate that information inside of this email. I'm then gonna put a bracket there and say, I hope this helps, regards, Liam. Now you can put whatever you want in here. I've got clients that have Shopify affiliate links. I have clients that have course links or YouTube links. We also have clients that upsell them into services like accountants and that kind of thing. So the opportunity really is here. This is your place to shine. This is where you have to get creative and see what sort of message you wanna follow up with. For this video, we're just gonna do this. And you can also add attachments, all of that stuff. So we're gonna hit continue and we're gonna test our action. So what should happen, we should now receive an email with the ChatGPT response that we got from this app. And here we go. It's literally just came in zero minutes ago, your business recommendations. Hi Liam, great to hear that you're interested in starting an online agency and have a budget of 500 to 1,000. Mic drop please. We've just built a fully functioning bot using Zapier that connects to businesses and acts as the most insane lead gen tool there is. Now, can you do this with bots? Can you do this with chatbots? Absolutely you can. But I prefer to be able to use Zapier and have complete control over the landing page that I build. If I can connect this to forms and make it super, super simple, it, does, it means that there isn't a bot functionality that people need to speak to in order to capture data. They can just go on a normal website, fill in a form and still receive something. You know, people are used to filling in forms. Some people don't like chatbots. Some companies don't really want chatbots. They want to be able to use something like this. 
So this just gives you so much freedom and it's all done using Zapier. The whole thing is automated now. I can go in, I can fill in that form every single time. Everything's gonna get populated. An email is gonna get sent. And then of course, you can go deeper and you can just keep adding layers to this. I can add it to my email marketing software, my Klaviyo software, or I can add it to my MailChimp email marketing software. And then from there, maybe your clients wanna set up automatic email flows once they're added into that email list. I'm sure you understand the power of this and how simple it really is. You can go as advanced as you like or as simple as you like, but it is just a matter of just playing around with Zapier, getting to understand how it works and just seeing what integrations there are. You can see that the main bulk of it is actually just connecting up accounts. There is very limited APIs and coding that you have to do. There's practically nothing. Um, and it's just a matter of working with what they already have built. Unfortunately, like I said, they don't have a partner affiliate program, otherwise I'd be a very rich man. But down below in the description, I will link you to some more Zapier training that they have made, which is incredibly powerful and super helpful. Highly recommend you check that out. But guys, if you managed to watch this entire video, you're a fucking champion. You're gonna go very, very far in this. And I hope this idea sparks some imagination in you and you go out there and start offering this to clients. This is literally a game changer. We've collected hundreds of thousands of emails for clients over the last few months. And it's all because of this exact blueprint. I'm literally giving you everything that I have here. This is going to save you so much time. And like I said, Zapier can be used in two ways. You can automate things very simply, or you can go detailed and make full bots out of it. So hopefully this tutorial helps. Let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, ask them away. I want to know, does this help you? Does this type of video really help you push forward with your agency? There's so many of you right now that are hungry to learn more and I'm trying to get videos out at a much, much faster rate, but I do want to ensure that that quality stays higher. No point in me coming to you and just creating shitty little videos that don't help you with much. I want to get in, I want to get detailed and I want you to really understand and take value away from these videos. So bookmark this video, come back to it, use it as a reference point. And hopefully one day you will sign your first client using this exact method because I've signed many clients using this and you now have the exact blueprint. Guys, thank you so much for the support over the last few weeks. Smash a like on this video if you liked it. Join my free Telegram down below. I have consulting calls you can book with me. Very, very limited because we're super busy right now. But yeah, cannot wait to see you in the next video. Make sure you join the free community as well. We're always helping people out in there. Guys, you're all legends, you're gonna make it work, but you have to put the work in, you know that. So on that note, get to work. I'll catch you later, bye-bye.